We are following some breaking news in multiple areas across Colorado at this time. We are tracking large police presences in multiple cities around high schools. Yeah, last check, we've got a working list of Boulder High School, Brighton High School, Aspen Schools, no specific school name at this point, Canyon City High School, as well as Ortega Middle School and Alamoso. Those schools are currently under, uh, there have been threats at each of those schools. We'll say this, Jordan, I think you mentioned this just a second ago, the information that we have at this point is still fairly limited, so we're working on what we've got at this point. But again, uh, several schools that have received some sort of a threat at this point. I will say that the first school that uh, at this point that um, police officers have found no credible threat is at Brighton High School. Uh, the secure, Brighton High School has been secured and the secure uh, perimeter threat there has been lifted. So again, working on limited information, but what we know, several schools being uh, impacted by threats of a possible uh, shooter there. And even though information is limited, we do have a bit that we can dive into. We'll start with Brighton, since Chris, Chris mentioned that first. The initial call here, we're told by law enforcement, came in around 840 of someone threatening Brighton High School with bombs and an AR-15. We're told that the caller, uh, that their call kept disconnecting and that police or investigating the credibility of these threats. Again, the important thing here is that police are telling us specifically in Brighton there are no uh, credibility to these threats at this time. We're told that students are inside the building in a secure status. That's according to the Brighton School District there. The lockdown at the surrounding schools right now we're told is being lifted, but the secure status does remain in place for Brighton High School. In Boulder, we're continuing to track another situation there. There's also a very large police presence. We are waiting for more information from Boulder Police at this time. Of course, we'll cut in with that information once we get it. But like Chris said, limited information here as well. We know that there is a shelter in place at Boulder High School. That was around 856 that Boulder Police tweeted that information. The CU, uh, CU Boulder Police tweeted out an emergency alert for the camp there around 916 saying that police were investigating a person with a gun near Boulder High School. They're asking everyone to avoid the area. They say there is a heavy police presence there as well. We also have that area, the map of the shelter in place for all who are impacted at this time. That is in this article on 9news.com. I think as Chris mentioned, the big thing here is we're tracking this happening in multiple areas. These unfounded threats at this time. Again, no credibility that we know of to any of them. They're happening in Boulder, Pitkin County there in Aspen, Canyon City, Brighton, and Aurora as well. Our crews are working to try to confirm any any kind of information right now and get you the latest updates. And we're continuing to break into the networks of Nine News with any information we do have at this time. But Chris, I think the big thing that police are stressing right now, no matter which municipality they're dealing with this in, is we know that this information can be scary when you hear this. We know because these involve schools mm -hmm. that parents want to go pick up their students, that they want to rush that way and try to protect their children. Again, first of all, these threats are not credible at this time. Police are also emphasizing that you stay away from these areas so they can do their work. Yeah, and again, your instinct, you said it there, Jordan, the instinct, which is totally understandable, is for you to go down to one of these areas, pick up your kid. Uh, totally understand that instinct, but again, to kind of re-emphasize what you're saying there, Jordan, in each of these cases, police saying, please avoid these areas at this time, let the police do their work, let them do their investigations. Again, it seems, at least in Brighton, that um, there is no credible threat at this time, so that is really worth emphasizing. We do not, at this point, have any uh, validity to any of these claims, but it is worth emphasizing again here, folks. Please avoid these areas. Um, and also, by the way, getting word now that, uh, again, Gilpin High School also under a, a lockdown at this point. So Gilpin High School under lockdown. That joins uh, Brighton, Boulder high schools as well as Aspen schools, Canyon City High School as well as Ortega Middle School in Alamosa. And as this information continues to roll in, we have multiple crews headed in several different directions. We're trying to get you the mm -hmm. latest information. It's busy here in the newsroom as well as we're trying to stay on top of everything. Of course, once we learn anything, we're going to be sure to update you across the networks of Nine News, but you'll be able to find it most readily available on your time on ninenews.com within this article. And should anything happen, we'll cut back in to update you.